Good morning and happy Hanukkah day number three to each and every one of you. There's a question in the Talmud. If ten people, for example, want to light the menorah on the first night of Hanukkah, but they don't have ten menorahs, but what they do have is a big bowl, and they want to fill up the bowl with oil and put ten wicks in the bowl. Can they all fulfill the mitzvah by putting ten wicks into a bowl of oil? And the Talmud answers and says, it depends. If each wick is standing alone individually, then they've all fulfilled the mitzvah. But if the ten wicks start to merge and combine with one another, then they have not fulfilled the mitzvah because they don't have ten individual lights, they have one big torch. And what the Talmud is teaching us is a very important lesson. We know that the candle is a metaphor for the soul. As King Solomon says, the candle of God is the soul of man. And what the Talmud is saying is that each one of us has our own unique individual light that we have to shine. Yes, there is our collective light that we radiate as a Jewish nation, but at the same time we have our own unique, one-of-a-kind individual light that God implanted in each and every one of us. When God blesses Abraham, he says, your children should be like the stars in the heaven and the sand on the seashore. Why does God give both metaphors? Because the sand on the seashores only have impact when they are combined together. That's when they form the beautiful beaches and withstand the mighty waves of the ocean. But each individual speck of sand on its own has no significance or value or purpose. As opposed to the stars in the heaven, which each star has to stand alone and shine its own light individually without colliding or merging with any other lights. Last week, a member of Palm Beach Synagogue passed away. He was 95 years old. His name was Ken Cronin. Ken Cronin and his wife, Jerry, joined the synagogue about 20 years ago. And Ken's life had a fascinating story that he had shared with me many times. In 1957, he was 29 years old. He and his wife and his two children, two-year-old Richard and six-week-old baby Mark, boarded a plane in LaGuardia to go to Miami Beach on vacation. It was, it was a blizzard, it was a snowy night, and tragically, the plane, the pilot lost vision, and the plane crashed near Rikers Island. The cockpit turned into a ball of fire, and Ken was trying to get out of the plane. As his wife was holding the two-year-old baby Richard, and he was holding six-week-old Mark. And suddenly he felt that his body was on fire, which he had scars from for the rest of his life. And so, as he was climbing out of the plane and he was on fire, he took his six-week-old baby in the middle of the night and threw the baby into the snow, which was covering the ground. He managed to get out of the plane, but couldn't find his son, Mark. Well, the warden at the prison at Rikers Island saw the crash and decided to allow a certain amount of prisoners to go out and help in this search and rescue effort. And one of the inmates from Rikers Island found little Mark covered in snow. Well, miraculously, Ken, his wife, and his two children survived, although many people perished that night in the plane crash. He felt like he was given a new lease on life. He felt like he was given a second chance to live. He decided to make his life meaningful. He started to connect to his heritage, come to shul every Shabbos, became very observant, and tried to fill all of his days and all of his years which is with us as much goodness and kindness and generosity and mitzvot as he was possibly can, realizing that every day was a gift from Hashem. That's the meaning of the individual light that God gave each and every one of us. As Lubavitcher Rebbe famously once said, the day you were born is the day that God said, the world cannot continue to exist without you. So make sure that in addition to our collective light as a Jewish people, that we all celebrate on Hanukkah, the miracle of Jewish existence and survival from the Maccabees' brave, heroic efforts. So too, we have to individually make sure that we are shining our own individual light as well. Have a wonderful day. Chag Sameach.